Yay. <clears throat> this is what we've been waiting for, Steve. We've been we've been working at this one for a long time. What a great, great contest this is. I can't wait to see the, the evening's performances. Well, I can't either. And we've just got so much talent to showcase from around the world. Steve and I, this is Steve Kaufman, my friend. And we've been working on a series of contests called the World Virtual Acoustic Contest. This is the Ukulele Contest, WVUC 2021. Steve Kaufman is a three-time champion, uh, national champion of the Winfield Guitar Contest. Da -da 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 -da. And he's a, a, a second <laughs> three times. We call him champ, 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 cha, cha, cha. So uh, welcome, Steve. Steve also runs uh, Steve Kaufman's Acoustic Camps in the summertime. Look them up on the web. It's fabulous. And camp is spelled with a K just to make sure you can find it. Steve Kaufman. Well, I appreciate that. And with us here is Marcy Markser. Uh, I, I did a just a, a brief Google search. And of course, she is the top 100 things listed there. But some of her accolades, she's got 48 CDs out, 23 of them feature the ukulele, uh, two Grammy Awards with her uh, partner, Kathy Fink. And each says each Grammy Award actually says artist, engineer and producer. Amazing. 65 Washington area music awards, including musician of the year. Wow. For 65 years. <laughs> Proud signature model <laughs> artist. <laughs> <laughs> Proud signature model artist for C.F. Martin guitars. That's Miss Marcy. We what? got it going on here, don't we, Steve? Yeah, we do. Good partnership, and uh, we love playing music together, hanging out, and also showcasing talent from around the globe. So at this point, why don't I bring on Gerald Ross, our co-host, and we'll say goodbye to Steve. He'll be working backstage and uh, making bagels, too. So he's a great, uh, great baker. So Gerald Ross, how are you? I'm doing fine, Marcy. It's uh, the winter time is loosening its grip here in Michigan. I'm thankful for that. Yeah. yeah. No more birds frozen to the trees or anything like <laughs> They're that. They're little beasts. Yeah, poor little things. Gerald Ross, you will find him at Uketone Records, uh, GeraldRoss.com. He has released six albums, and people, I've known Gerald, Gerald and I have known each other since we were in our 20s. Gerald was an elegant, amazing musician way back then, and I didn't know it was possible for him to get any better, but he's getting better all the time, so you've got to have all six of his ukulele CDs. The Northwest Ann Arbor, is that a newspaper? No, um, no, no, it's, just, it's an area on the map, Northwest Ann Arbor. <laughs> He is called Michigan's King of the Hawaiian Steel Guitar. Wait a minute. No, it's Northwest Ann Arbor's Michigan. <laughs> Northwest Ann Arbor's King of the Hawaiian Steel. It's a very small kingdom. It's mostly trees. <laughs> uh, that's cool, Gerald. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, we're it's have some fun here. Yeah. We've got a lot coming up. We have had four categories in this contest. One is the youthful euchres, or as some kids have said, the youthful euchres, which is fabulous. And they are kids 14 and under at the time of sign up. So we've got an amazing wealth of talented kids. And one of the reasons why we're doing this broadcast here and running this contest is we are raising funds for the youth ukulele scholarship that we're putting together to give kids access to online workshops, ukulele camps, existing ukulele camps, um, get kids coming into uh, other ukulele scenes, meeting other people, hanging out online with uh, other uke players. And there is the information right there. That is brilliant. So you can make your tax deductible donations to the scholarship at imtfolk.org. That's for Institute of Musical Traditions, imtfolk, F-O-L-K dot O-R-G. And please specify ukulele scholarship with your donations. We'll see just how many kids we can send to online lessons. And that was great background music there, Gerald. <laughs> 
Thank you. I only have six CDs, not 48. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but how many tunes did you record on them? 106 each? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have had, um, let's see, in the youth categories, all kids are winners. What we're saying here is, in fact, everybody who entered the contest, adults or kids, are going to get a certificate that say, that says, I played the World Virtual Ukulele Contest. The kids in particular will get some special certificates. Anastasia Sermojevatnova, I did, sorry, Anastasia, I did my best. She's from Latvia. And she gets the award for the best complimentary performance art outfit. She did an absolutely beautiful job. Thank you so much for entering. And um, Naomi Thibault from French Polynesia. She won the award for outstanding vocals in a language other than English. And Aswin from India. Beautiful person. Lovely, charming eight-year-old child who gets the award for the most complete use of the ukulele fingerboard. Yeah. And uh, from Canada, from Canada, we have Denzel Onaba. And a little bit about Denzel. Uh, he is an eight-year-old from Canada, and he's got the ultimate cool look down. You'll see it. And he is doing the theme from the Andy Griffith Show. And his award is the best ukulele performance of a song that is usually whistled. Isn't that great? He did a beautiful job. Justin Rosengarten is the winner for the best performance of a movie theme song. Now, Justin had did something that nobody else did. He dressed up like a pirate and he played the Pirates of Penzance on the ukulele. I just, I didn't even know that was possible. Justin, keep going, buddy. Next up in the in the uh, young folks category is Scarlett Yim, and Scarlett Yim won the award for the best left hand position. That old left hand here, and uh, she is going to be playing the Andy Griffith theme. Hmm, I wonder if she lives in Canada as well. I don't know. <laughs> and we have Aaron Zai from Canada, another Canadian. And he got the award for the best musical score reading. He did such a beautiful job. His posture is great. He's holding his ukulele beautifully. He's got a music stand set up and he's reading the musical score. And that takes so much practice. Congratulations to you, Aaron. Next up from the United States of America, we have Angelo George. Angelo is a... a is going to be playing the banjo uke. He takes lessons at Middle C Music, and he's going to be playing a Beatles song. He uh, won the best banjo uke performance, and I think we are going to also give an award to Angelo's family for having a banjo uke in the house. Those things are very loud. <laughs> you know, that's a really good idea. We'll just send him a package of certificates. <laughs> Our last winner of the certificate awards of the youth category is willow patrick she has won the award for best arpeggio playing she is eight years old she's a student of heidi swedberg and her work really shows up in those arpeggio playing so um that was absolutely wonderful thank you gerald for helping us with this this kid stuff uh, it's lovely. Now, we're going to talk about another friend of both mine and Gerald, Andy Eastwood. He made a tribute video for us because today, March 6th, just happens to be the anniversary of the passing of George Formby, the great banjo ukulele player from England. And mm -hmm. so, Angelo, I hope you're watching this closely. Do you want to say a few words about Andy? Oh, Andy's a, a, an incredible musician. Yes, he plays the uke beautifully, and his uh, wonderful performer too. When he uh, when he does his uh, versions of the George Formby tunes, he's great. Very nice guy. He also plays the violin. 
uh, sings. Uh, he's he's an all around entertainer, like from the old school. It's, it's very nice guy. Let's hear from Andy Eastwood. Hi, this is Andy Eastwood speaking to you from Blackpool on the northwest coast of England and the hometown of Britain's biggest ever ukulele star, George Formby. Today is exactly 60 years since George Formby passed away, so we couldn't possibly have a ukulele event today without paying a little tribute to him. I'm the lucky owner of one of his banjoleles, and he played this on his last ever TV performance in 1960, and he sang his most famous song. It's called Leaning on a Lamp Post. I'm leaning on a lamp post at the corner of the street in case a certain little lady comes by. Oh me, oh my, I hope the little lady comes by. I don't know if she'll get away, she doesn't always get away. Anyhow, I know that she'll try. Oh me, oh my, I hope the little lady comes by. There's no other girl I could wait for But this one I'd break any day for I won't have to ask what she's late for She'd never leave me flat She's not a girl like that Oh, she's absolutely wonderful And marvellous and beautiful And anyone can understand why I'm leaning on a lamppost At the corner of the street Case a sad little lady passes by on the lamppost at the corner of the street in case a certain little lady comes by. Oh me, oh my, I hope the little lady comes by. I don't know if she'll get away, she doesn't always get away, anyhow I know that she'll try. Oh me, oh my, I hope the little lady comes by. any day for I won't have to ask what she's late for she never leave me back she's not a girl like that well she's absolutely wonderful and marvelous and beautiful and anyone can understand why I'm leaning on a lamp close at the corner of the street takes a sad lady passes by Very nice, very nice. And a well, nice guy, too. Really nice guy. And he heads up the George Formby uh, so Society in England. Uh, you can look them up on YouTube. They're quite fantastic. So let's bring in a couple of the judges. You'll see one came in right here. This is Walked Kathy right Fink. in the room. Hey. Got here just in time. It's perfect. So we'd like to congratulate all the people who entered. Oh my goodness. It was so much fun to watch all of these videos. It was just marvelous. And I loved how people commented on each other's videos and had so much fun. That was, that was great. Right. The spirit, uh, the spirit of music, the spirit of musicians. That's what we do. So uh, let's bring in Ginger and Ben also. We'll have a little bit of Ginger. Yeah. Oh. All hey, right. look, it's, it's our Peter. all over the world crew here. Wow. Kathy and I are in Silver Spring, Maryland, and you already heard that Gerald is in Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, Northwest Ann Arbor, Michigan. Ginger, where are you? I know. I'm on the island of Maui in Hawaii. <laughs> That's where I want to be. <laughs> Come on. Your room is ready. <laughs> Sounds good. Peter, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Perfect. Oh, so we really are international. Yeah, yeah. We are. We are. <laughs> you betcha. Eh? And Ben. Hey, I'm That's just combining Michigan general. and Canada. You betcha. Eh? Combines the. Yeah, both. you betcha. Eh? I love that. You betcha. Yeah, eh? the UP, we do that up there too. <laughs> we say hey, though, don't we? 
You betcha hey. Uh, it depends. It's hey or a. Either one seems to work. I'm going to mute real quickly because the dog is going to really bark really loud that wants to go outside. So okay. you guys keep talking. I'll be back in in a second. Okay. This is quite a, a lovely team. We also have uh, Daniel Ho and Sarah Mazel who were uh, judges, but we have Peter, Ben, and Ginger who were judges. Uh, anything you'd like to say, Peter and Ginger? Yeah, you know what? I, I know that uh, Kathy's already alluded to the great videos and the wonderful spirit. It seems that whatever you two guys put on has great spirit to it. And as I watched the videos, the joy that was coming from the players, uh, Kathy and I worked together with one division of, of sp specific players and every one of them just looked like they were having so much fun. They were right into it. As I watched the different categories, just out of interest, just to tune in, I was just absolutely taken by the joy that, that was coming from making music. And you know what? That's number one. When you can feel that, that, that joy of music making coming from the folks that are doing it, it just imparts on each person watching. So thank you to all of you. And what about thank all you, those Peter. amazing kids? I oh. mean, the level of playing amongst those kids who are clearly not wasting their time during the pandemic. They are <laughs> yeah. buckling down and yeah. digging in and, yeah. uh, Kathy and Marcy and Gerald and Peter and Ginger, look out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I, and Kathy, you and Marcy know this. Um, I, I spent three decades, over three decades working with kids and had a, just an absolute uh, lovely time working with children in class and outside of class. And it just brought it back for me to see these kids in, involved at different ages, to young teens, young children. We had the little gal, you know, eight years old, uh, playing the ukulele with such was vim and vigor and joy. It, it, Kathy, it was very special to see the talent that's out there and and that there. It, lots of the rooms you and I probably noticed this. Lots of the rooms had pianos in them. Yeah. Did you did you catch that? They uh, did. But they they had the uke with them as well, and and so I'm I'm just delighted. I just well, Peter, they can only take one of them down the street. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, you know. I love the, uh, the, 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 I had a special uh, place in my heart for the rendition of the fishing hole, the Andy Griffith theme. Yes. Yeah. Because one of my first ukulele students, he was eight years old, his name was Connor. And this was at Elderly Instruments where Marcy used to work and Gerald used to work too. Yeah. And uh, he came in, he goes, I want to, he, he, he goes, I know this song. And he played the fishing hole. And I go, where in the world, you're eight year old, where did you learn this song? He goes, I sit and watch it every, whenever my grandpa's over or I'm at my grandpa's <laughs> house. I sit and watch it with my grandpa and I go, oh, that is so sweet. And so I kind of worked it out a little more for him. He knew the basic part. So it really warmed my heart when I saw these other kids playing the fishing hole. It's, it's got words and everything to it, but um, <laughs> um, you I, know, it's, it's, it's a great song. I thought it was always whistled. Yeah. Well, it is in the show, but there are actually words to it. Wow. Yeah. So, but yeah, I like uh, what everybody said. That's yeah. Ginger, we haven't heard from Ginger <laughs> He's, yet. Uh, uh, all the different, uh, how into it, it everybody was, you know, they were really excited playing. Um, and you could tell some had worked so hard on their skills and, uh, I don't know, the whole, it was just such a variety of different music and all the different age groups. I mean, I, I just loved watching all those, even in the categories that I wasn't judging. So it was, it was wonderful. It was really yeah. was great. I'm amazed at the level of skill, talent, and enthusiasm. It was just wonderful. Ginger, how about you? I found it just absolutely wonderful. Uh, you know, it just made me feel like, I wasn't so isolated. You know, I'm out here in the Pacific, and yet this made me feel like we're all one sappy musical family. <laughs> and I just loved it. There's talent everywhere. You lift a rock, and there's these people that have, every single person had something wonderful going on. And I was really pleased to be part of it. Well, we thank you. And with that, let's move on and show the video of the top five in the youthful euchres category. Thank you everyone. <laughs> cool. 
Okay, time to pee. Nice. Hi, I'm Meredith Sundberg, and this is my entry in the World Virtual Ukulele Contest 2021 in the Youthful Eucharist category. Hello, I'm Kai Posey from Virginia. This is my entry for the World Virtual Ukulele Competition 2021 in the Youthful Ukers Division. Today, I will be playing my interpretation of Europa by, by Santana. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Pin the Boy from Taiwan. This is my anchor for the 2021 World Virtual Ukulele Contest in the Useful Wilderness category. I'm going to play Blue Wind Swing by Jack Shinobu. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Ren Smith. This is my entry for the WVUC 2021 in the Youthful Euchres category. This is Jake Shimabukoro's Go For Broke.
Thank you. I am Ray Ray Chen, and this is my entry for the World Virtual Ukulele Contest 2021 in the Youth for Ukulele category. I would like to play my arrangement of Moon River. Thank you. Isn't that amazing? It was incredible. <laughs> I mean, that was some pretty complex stuff they were playing there. They were all amazing. Absolutely. And, you know, this, this whole contest was full of wonderful surprises. You could just kick back and tell them it's like being at a festival, just watching great act after great act. So we're, we couldn't be any more proud of these kids. Uh, the winners, again, will be featured in uh ukulele magazine so they will uh the world will hear about all of them if they haven't already but yeah i'm so pleased and we also have another judge joining us uh daniel ho is standing by there he is <laughs> aloha everyone hey gerald hi daniel hi marcy lydia's here too She's right oh here. great! Hi, hi, hi! <laughs> <laughs> wow, amazing talents! Oh boy, <laughs> we're so lucky to be in this genre. I'd say ukulele would be a genre, but it's not a genre. It can tell came so many genres, but we're also everybody supportive of each other. Um, it's just delightful, and it's delightful to have you on board, Daniel. Tell us oh. what you're up to and. Thank you for inviting me. I, I had a great time listening to everyone and discovering new talents all over the world. Wow. <laughs> it, you know what it is? It's humbling. <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> well, those, ki those kids are only going to get better, you know? That's the scary part. 
Yeah, and by by that by that time, I'm done with my career. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. It's in good hands. When you see kids playing like that, it is here to stay. It's it's not going anywhere soon. So yeah. uh, it's wonderful to see the next generations coming up. Now I see that uh, Peter may still be hanging out backstage. If he wants to come in, come on in. Hi. Hey, Peter. Oh, your mic's your mic's muted. Yeah, that's the line for 2020. Your mic's muted. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Great to see you, Daniel. Lydia, hello, Gerald. Good to see you. Lydia. Yeah, those kids, those kids were amazing, weren't they? You know, Daniel said something very powerful. He said, uh, it's not going to be long before I'm out of here. No, they're just going <laughs> to they're, they're gonna join the ranks of great players. This the You know, the five were all terrific. But this last young man that played, huh? So musical. Mm -hmm. and, and you're right, Gerald. So complex. Some of the stuff is really complex there. Where are these guys coming from, right? And, and it had feeling, too. It just wasn't oh. playing the notes on the paper. It was it was music. Yeah, yeah. It was beautiful, beautiful music. And I, I've looked up these kids on YouTube. So you can look up the kids uh anybody who's watching wants to look up the kids and see their youtube pages most of them have youtube pages including ray ray ching um and he it looks like just a short time ago he was a little guy he must be in a growth spurt but he plays <laughs> classical guitar and ukulele really beautifully wow. so wow. we thank all the young people who entered we appreciate every one of you and it's true we are uh, a big family and what we get to do is just get bigger and better. Um, young kids come in, ask us for advice, talk to us. Um, it, it spans generations, and mm -hmm. it's a wonderful thing to see. It's been that way in Hawaii for for many, many years. Yeah. But it's great that the spanning of the generations is, is being more evident the rest of the world. Yeah. You, you know, know I'm sorry, Daniel, go ahead. What I noticed, you know, watching the youth category and, and the videos is um, it's just evidence that uh, it's an easier time now, not a better time to learn. Mm. When I was a kid, I, I'm, I'm thinking, watching this, you know, uh, growing up in Hawaii, there was Kaimaki Library. And if I wanted to know how to do something, I'd have to do, know the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> so I could go through the card catalogs and find and, and then go to that part and hopefully the library and put the book back in the right spot. And then maybe mm -hmm. I could find a thin book with browning pages that might have a paragraph or two about a certain, in, you know, thing I wanted to learn about. And that's what it was like back then. And now it, it Hey Siri, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but you know, their talent and their knowledge, musicality, everything, they're just taking in, just like they say, drinking from a fire hose, but you can learn from, you know, the greatest musicians in the world on, online. And it's, and, and it shows, you know, it, it really shows at such an early age to be able to play like that so musically. Yeah. And, and like, why it's wonderful. Yeah, they are. They are. Uh, they are lucky today with all the learning materials that are out there for these kids and with easy access within seconds, they get lessons or sheet music or whatever. When I was a kid, I didn't have that. My, uh, my first instrument, my uh, father stretched a cigar box over a raccoon and that was, and uh, the raccoon didn't like it, but I it. <laughs> you know, I, I gotta say something The the biggest difference that I know is because of course my work was with kids for, for four decades, right? Yeah. My work with the thing that I noticed was as the instrument became more and more appreciated and in the last 10 years, because of folks like the people that I'm talking to, the James Hills of the world, the Jake Shimabukuros of the world, how many of those kids took Jake pieces? Because th those uh, examples are out there, and I include Daniel and Gerald, the old farts like us, I'm not sure, but certainly folks that, that have inspired young people, you know what's happened? Many of those young people were already taking lessons and they were already doing things on other instruments. And so what they've done is they transferred that understanding of music to the ukulele. Mm -hmm. And 
I, I like I remember working with kids the the kids that would come who were most ready to learn. And again, James, my own son, Paul, they were accomplished violinists as kids before I ever worked with them. So they they had all these talents going. And that's what we're getting now. We're getting a better quality of better quality. We're getting a more ready to learn young person when they're coming to the ukulele. And it's Daniel's right. Look out because the future is mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness, Marcy, as you said, the future is in good hands because we've got so many great players coming. And part of the purpose here is we are raising funds for a youth ukulele scholarship to bring kids into, well done, Beth, to bring kids into existing ukulele camps and workshops and have more online experiences. Now, they're obviously getting some great learning experiences, but think about all the ukulele camps we work for and the workshops we go to, how many young players are there? Often, not very many. Mm, so that's true. Bring them in and, and uh, expand our ukulele family exponentially. And it's uh, we're out there, so all we have to do is connect with each other. So thank you, everybody. At this point, I think we need to move on to the traditional category. Yes, yes. Definition of the traditional category here is from the Stone Age to 1929. So you'll notice it's not genre specific. Uh, Stone Age. So really, I, I hope we had some category, uh, some entries from the Stone Age. I hope and, so. Uh, yeah. That contemporary, the Stones Age would be. Oh. That's the Rolling Stones. They'd be a very different kind of stone. A little bit of ukulele trivia was that the the low G ukulele mm. was invented to accompany Gregorian chants. Really? Well, see, <laughs> I know the truth is I also, I mean, I'll say the truth is through research and work in uh, France, I've met some French Renaissance guitar players who play the ukulele, but it's, they think it's a, I mean, it's a French Renaissance guitar. It's exactly the same instrument, the same size, similar size, uh, you know, depending on the size of the wood the maker had, but it mm -hmm. had high G. There was music written for that instrument in the middle of the 1400s. So, you know, that could be, could be true, Gerald. It was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, okay, popularity, let's go ahead and watch the traditional ukulele category, please. I'm Danny Willis, and this is my entry for the WVUC 2021 in the traditional Stone Age category. Thank you. 
Say California, here I come, right back where I started from, where bowers of flowers bloom in the sun. Each morning at dawning, birdies singing, everything a sun kissed miss said, Don't be late. That's why I can hardly wait. Open up that golden gate, California. Here I come. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gail Herrera, and this is my entry for WVUC 2021 in the pre-1930 category. I took each word he said as gospel truth, like any silly child would. I can't excuse it on the grounds of youth. I was no babe in the wild, wild woods. He didn't mean it, I should have seen it, but now it's too late. I thought I found the man of my dreams, now it seems this is how the story ends. Gonna turn me down and say, Can't we be friends? I thought the ones that couldn't go wrong, not for long. I can see the way this ends. He's gonna turn me down and say, Can't we be friends? Never again, through with love, through with men, they play their game without shame and who's to blame I thought I found a man I could trust what a bust this is how the story ends he's gonna turn me down and say can't we be friends Why should I care how he gave me the air? Why should I cry in a sigh and wonder why? And wonder why I should have seen the signal to stop. What a flop, this is how the story ends. He's gonna turn me down and say, can we be, can we be, can we be? Can't we be friends? Can't we be friends? Thank you. Hello, I'm Nat, also known as a Mark's sister. And this is my entry for the World Virtual Ukulele Contest 2021 in the traditional category. I'm going to perform a waltz in E minor by a Russian composer, Alexander Grivayet. He wrote only two waltzes, and this is one of them. The piece was originally written for the piano in the 1800s, and this is my arrangement of it in the original key for a low G ukulele. I hope you enjoyed.
Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Lee. Today is February 21st of 2021. I'm going to use this video for this year's World Virtual Ukulele Contest. I'm going to play Concerto in D Major by Antonio Vivaldi. And this is my own solo ukulele arrangement. Thank you. I'm Pat McGowan with the traditional song, El Noy de la Mar, The Mother's Child.
Yay! Man, that was very nice. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? It's ama uh, just the different styles. I mean, uh, the, the instrument has really come into its own over the past couple of years. I mean, 20 years ago, you still sort of had to apologize for playing the ukulele. But now, man, people are doing so many things with it. And it was hard to get your hands on a great ukulele. Yeah. But you know what? I have to say, use that as an opportunity to thank our sponsor. This event would not be possible without the sponsorship of C.F. Martin and Company. Now, this is a baritone ukulele, and the first mm -hmm. ukulele player I ever heard was in my kindergarten classroom on a record by Ella Jenkins. So we all love Ella. This is an amazing event. I, we uh, are shocked and so happy with the quality we're a group that just has to keep getting together with all these people. So, uh, Gerald, let's yes. move on to the contemporary category. Okay, contemporary we have the... Go ahead. We have the contemporary category. Uh, 19... I don't have notes for that one. <laughs> okay, 1930 to present. Any specific genre is fine as long as it, it was written mm -hmm. from 1930 to the present. So... Again, round of applause for everyone in the traditional category. And I see comments are coming in like wildfire, which is absolutely wonderful. Oh, I do want to mention one more thing. There is a sense of community, the way we've, we've been talking about the sense of community. And with this contest, I tried to watch the videos as soon as they came in. But there was one person who's always ahead of me. And he made comments, positive comments comments on every single video. So we're going to give him a special award. His name is Monty Stewart, and we're going to call him the Minister of Morale, the M-O-M. <laughs> I may have got that from you, Gerald. Yes, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so Monty Stewart, thank you very much for being so amazingly supportive and playing so wonderfully. Here we go with the contemporary yes. category. My name is Catherine Murray, and this is my entry into the 2021 World Virtual Ukulele Contest in the contemporary category. I will be playing my arrangement of When I'm 64.
I'm Miriam Brogan, and this is my entry into the World Virtual Ukulele Contest in the Contemporary Category. Thank you. I'm Pat McGowan with a contemporary work by the wonderful Oregon composer Brian Johansson. Called Spinning, I think of this as a day in the life of a very busy spider. She's building a new web, getting blown around when the wind picks up in the afternoon and wrapping up just as evening falls. Spinning.
Hi everyone, my name is Brian Lin. Today I'm going to play my original song for ukulele called A European Afternoon Tea. And this is for the World Virtual Ukulele Contest. And today is February 21st, 2021. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tisha Klopp, and this is my entry for the contemporary category of the 2021 World Virtual Ukulele Contest, and I will be performing the song Carrying You from the film Castle in the Sky. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.
This is just glorious. I know it's it's amazing. They, it's it's a total instrument. That's what I like about it. They are approaching the instrument as a total. You know, it's total music. The four strings are definitely enough. <laughs> well said. Oh, great. Well, we're getting near the end of our categories here. We have one more category, and it's called the most entertaining category. I'm not sure what to expect in this one. I'm really looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, this is going to be good. Absolutely. So let's go right to it. I'm Davide Donelli. This is my entry for the 2021 World Virtual Ukulele Contest in the Most uh, Entertainment Performance category. This is my arrangement of a ukulele song. Hi, I'm Gail Herrera, and this is my entry for WVUC 2021 and the most entertaining category. I just wrote this song and thought it would be fun to share. Like so many things in life, it's funny because it's true. You can ask my family and maybe you can relate. I hope you enjoy it. It's called Going Round the Bend. Going round the bend, I think I'm going round the bend. Cereal's in the fridge and the milk's in the cupboard, I can no longer pretend. Going round the bend, that's right, I'm going round the bend. You don't have to look too hard to discover I'm going round the bend. Where did I put my other glasses? Did you find the remote? I forgot where I parked the car. Why is it so hot? 
I know I came in here for a reason, but I really don't know why. You don't have to look too hard to discover I'm going round the bend. Going round the bend, I think I'm going round the bend. Cereal's in the fridge and the milk's in the cupboard, I can no longer pretend. Going round the bend, that's right, I'm going round the bend. Have to look too hard to discover I'm going round the bend. I can almost put my finger on the word, but it's somehow out of reach. I think that I locked the door, but why don't you go see? I wrote it all down in my phone, but I have no idea where. You don't have to look too hard to discover I'm going round the bend. Everybody going round the bend. I think I'm going round the bend. Cereal's in the fridge and the milk's in the cupboard. I can no longer pretend. Going round the bend. That's right, I'm going round the bend. You don't have to look too hard to discover I'm going round the bend. You don't have to look too hard to discover I'm going the oh what's that word I can't think of it what's this on my oh, these are my other glasses <laughs> thank you I'm Juliana, and I'm Meredith, and, and we're Sisters, Sisters in Sync. This is our entry for the World Virtual Ukulele Contest 2021 in the most entertaining category.
gonna get up in the morning. I believe I'll just run away. I don't want nobody moving in my room. And this is our entry for the World Virtual Ukulele Contest 2021 in the most entertaining category. It takes a lot of guts to enter this particular category, so heads off to our fellow competitors. Now, we're not very good at clucking like chickens or playing washboards, so we decided to do what we do best. Translation. Translation. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, right in front of your eyes. And ears. We are going to take a song and translate it from English into Russian in just three minutes. Let's go. 234, 233. Let's pick a song. Something simple. Recommended? Perfect. It uses just the notes of the pentatonic scale. Oh, so we can easily translate that into Chinese. Yes, but not today. Let's see how it goes. C major. We know that Russian folk music uses minor keys. So let's take a relative minor harmonic naturally of the C major scale and slide the melody down just like that. There's something missing. Something, something, something. Aha! Uh -huh. I got it! <laughs> Thank you. 
And here you go, a traditional American tune, Rocky Mountain, as an authentic Russian folk song. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Minor? Naturally. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. Go ahead. Well, we've, we've heard a lot of different types of music today. We've heard blues and classical and swing, singer, songwriter, pop, rock, uh, Russian. <laughs> uh, it, it's been a great day. It has been. I'm just so impressed with everybody and like to thank everybody for tuning in and donating to the scholarship fund once again. The Youth Ukulele Scholarship is to send kids to existing ukulele camps, online camps, and lessons and workshops. You can make a tax-free donation to imtfolk.org, imtfolk.org, and please mention Ukulele Scholarship in the notes. Gerald, it's been fun hanging with you, oh. hanging out here. We've been friends for so many years. Yes, long, long time. Wonderful. And oh. I, want to, I want to send a word out to people who are watching with curiosity tonight. Can I play the ukulele? Well, there, there's, there's a rumor going around in the music world is that you should play the ukulele because it's so, such an easy instrument to play. I don't <laughs> agree. I don't agree. I say... The ukulele is easy to get started on. You can make yes. beautiful music right from the start, but the sky is the limit where you go with it. Absolutely, and this proves it tonight. Yeah. If you pick up a ukulele, learn a few chords, have some fun with other people. Soon you're, you're in the right place, and you can progress as far as you want to. That was so well put, Gerald. Now okay. let's bring back Steve Kaufman. Guitar hey, extraordinary. Hey. You, you know, that was just amazing. I, I, I was so, uh, uh, I was just glued to it. I just couldn't get away. And, and, and it's like Gerald said, you know, and, you know, ukulele, uh, I, I'm a Yankee. I say ukulele, <laughs> but, uh, uh, I, I find that, you know, you see them in, in music stores everywhere. You see them at entry level. You see that it's, uh, you can get into ukulele playing, less than you can getting into guitar playing and banjo and, and mandolin. They're just, they're so accessible and probably like every other instrument out there for any hobbyist, uh, they go up to the sky's the limit as well. Yes. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. And they tend to uh, reproduce in your house. You buy <laughs> one ukulele and all of a sudden there's 30 of them hanging on your wall. Well, I, I, I never heard the guy say that I, this is the last ukulele I was ever going to get until he got his next one. Yeah. You know, <laughs> well, so, and I have anyway. to say, Steve runs and and Donna, his wife, uh, wonderful people. They run uh, a great camp. It's the number one player's choice um, to a place to learn bluegrass, old time ukulele, fiddle, banjo, all kinds of things. It's all fantastic. of it. And when I first started teaching there, I taught guitar. I taught there for several years before teaching ukulele. And people kind of smiled at the beginning of the week. It's like, oh, you're doing what? You're doing what? And by the end of the week, they realized that all my gear was my instrument, a little amp, a chord, my book of charts was under five pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> and it fits in the overhead of the plane. That's Good thing right. we didn't have a, a, a pedal steel <laughs> camp. <laughs> but yeah, we have uh, uh, we have two teachers with our uh, uh our ukulele section of the camp. See, we will have 17 instruments there. You know, we, we're teaching 17 different instruments. So it's, uh, and we have two teachers, one, one teacher uh, handles just the beginner. And then the, the other teacher handles the intermediate advance. Mm -hmm. And Gerald's been there as well. And uh, we're looking yep. forward to having him back. Mm -hmm. And Marcy, we're looking forward to having you back. Looking forward to it. His camp is called, oh, there, Kathy just put it in the chat. Uh, flatpick.com, Steve Kaufman's Acoustic Camp Overview. She put a link right there so you can see. Isn't that sweet? I Thank also, you, Kathy. Yeah, I also teach on truefire.com, pegheadnation.com, and homespun.com. So we have a lot of, of uh, there are so many accessible materials, but right now what we're going to say is good night. 
We're going to get Gerald to play some of that beautiful ukulele, and Steve and I will run the credits. How's that? Does that work for That's you? That's great, yeah. Well, special thanks to C.F. Martin Guitars and Ukuleles, Ukulele Magazine, Elderly Instruments. You want to take the next one? Very special thanks to Andy Eastwood for that great George Formby tribute. Look for Andy and the George Formby Society on YouTube and at andyeastwood.com, and he also teaches. And Marcy, as long as you're on a roll, why don't you introduce? Why don't you thank our judges? All right, our esteemed panel of judges was Sarah Mazel, Ben Hassinger, Peter Luongo. Daniel Ho, Kathy Fink, and Ginger Johnson. Well, thank you so much. They they worked hard. They they didn't sleep all week long. <laughs> no, they didn't. No. Special thanks to our technical team. Beth uh, has been running this uh, uh, this stream service, you know, and has done a great job. I, and I believe I, I've not ever said her last name, but would it be Radowski? Radowski, yeah. Yeah, our streaming expert and a baritone ukulele player and our social media king is A.J. Glau. Yep. And speaking of social media, when I put the call out to share this event, several great ukulele artists stepped up as media sponsors and they promoted this. And I would like to name and thank for their support. Eve Goldberg, Little Rev, Craig G., James Hill, Rachel Mankey, the Ukulele Society of Silver Spring, Judy Maldauer, and everyone else who generally sh generously shared this contest info. Well, special thanks to Gerald Ross for being our M our, our M shared MC of the night. Thank you, Gerald. Thank you. <laughs> If you get a chance to see Gerald out or look look him up on YouTube, he he has a great show, folks. You got to watch. Absolutely, he's fantastic. So thank you. If you see us out at a gig pretty soon, come on up and say hello and tell us you were here and saw this video. And we will be signing off for the World Virtual Ukulele Contest, sponsored in part by the World Virtual. <coughs> contests which is steve kaufman and myself <laughs> look, look for more exciting contests in the future but not for a while though <laughs> no this kind of war is out <laughs> thank you everybody thanks to all the winners i'll be in touch with you on monday great job everyone great job good night thank have you, a great weekend good stay night. safe out there yeah stay safe <laughs>